Hello again and welcome back to another one. And today we have a couple of topics to cover from an official report that shows Eminem is utterly dominating the United Kingdom in 2024 when it comes to hip hop. And speaking on Eminem, a snippet of M and LL Cool J having a chat behind the scenes of the Murdergram video just hit the web that shows this man could have been a comedian if he wanted to. And we'll expand on this momentarily. And today we have updates on Diddy's arrests and accusations. And of According to one of the leading lawyers for Diddy's accusers, the number of lawsuits have risen to over 120. Boy. And boy, he also revealed that we should expect some shocking names to be revealed. High profile celebrities who knew about the parties, who participated, and those who witnessed the atrocities and did nothing to stop them. And like Bizarre said on Eminem's new album, it is about to get scary for real. And we got to hear from Wendy Williams, 50 Cent, Charlemagne, the infamous Jaguar Wright, who dropped some mind blowing names of those who took part in the freak offs. And we even got to hear from from the author of Kim Porter's alleged tell-all book that sparked debates due to questions about its authenticity. But to be fair, a lot has come to light that kind of gives credence to some of the claims the author made in the book. And before we get to it, I'm not only safe, man. Does it put you in a position because you you, you had a friendship with this guy? Okay. No, I didn't. <laughs> Don't deny us like Joe Budden did to Diddy after Diddy got arrested. If you enjoy content like this, hit the like button and subscribe for more. And starting out with Eminem and LL Cool J, this chat recently hit social media. This is literally... <laughs> this is the one from the shoot? That's so from crazy. the album cover. Oh wow. It's so crazy that you still have it. Literally. Yeah, I can't even keep a license though. Yeah. Like a wallet, license, yeah, no, nothing. Like this, was like, this was like that moment. We gotta push in a little bit more. I remember driving around as queens in this Really? I had the car phone. But you know when it yeah, was yeah, like yeah. when that was a big deal. Yeah. You know, I had the car phone, I had the Blau Punk system Didn't in there. That At that the time the Blau Punk equalizers with the wow. Oh yeah, nah, this was it was Did you got airbags in it? <laughs> right. No mine no. don't. It was in ninety one, I got it in ninety three. And right, like that was bad. It had 93,000 miles on it. <laughs> oh, wait, that was. Like, I forgot that part. You, you bought a car with 93,000 miles on it? I'm like, what's the what's you going? I didn't, I didn't know. <laughs> Damn. Clearly, he should have also looked into being a comedian. And speaking on Eminem, we got a cryptic post a few hours ago that sparked speculations of the next music video from the death of Slim Shady. When Eminem shared this out of the blue, a never before seen photo of Haley's version of the Eminem show. And Eminem added the caption, it won't be too long, temporary. And since Somebody Save Me was the last single users have been going off, is everything okay? Am You've been making the saddest songs, the singles, loudly crying emoji. And before we get to the next point, Eminem continues to dominate the United Kingdom in 2024. As according to the official charts report, it is all about Eminem and 50 Cent this year, as these are the best-selling hip-hop albums of the year so far, and the only hip-hop albums to crack the top 40, all genres, Curtain Call, The Death of Slim Shady, Curtain Call 2, and The Best of 50 and moving on to the Diddy updates, 50 Cent shared a compilation of Tony Yayo airing out Diddy a few hours ago. Check it out. Note to self, don't tell Yayo nothing you don't want everybody to know. Eyes emoji. Look at me, Diddy, you like, yo, this dude is a billionaire. So people in the hood that don't got it is like, yo, Diddy is stupid. I never had industry friends. So for me, it's weird to even be friends with rappers. When P. Diddy could have signed 50. That's the meeting <laughs> that 50 said, you know, we gonna meet P. Diddy just cause of the biggie shit. 
but I'm, I'm not fucking with that nigga. We in the office. It's me and 50. Right. He just went in there just seeing whatever deals he can right, get. Right, right, right. He's telling 50, like, yo, I can't sign you. You know, you got beef for Prem and all that. And he sat down and was scared of Prem and them. A lot of niggas like, yo, we, we don't want to deal with the Prem shit. And that's basically what Diddy was saying. So you got to understand, people don't understand the history of 50 and Diddy, what really happened in hip hop. We always been hated. So I've never been to a P. Diddy party, Jay-Z brunch. <laughs> I know it's fun. Bad Boy House, I've never been there. <laughs> I know it's cool to be down with Diddy and Jay-Z. And <laughs> we was down with 50, had beef with everybody. <laughs> and boy, Diddy is in some real trouble right now. The number of lawsuits just went up to over 120. And while these are civil lawsuits, Details about the cases would be forwarded to the feds to pursue criminal charges. Check out a snippet from one of the leading lawyers going after Diddy. The biggest secret in the entertainment industry that really wasn't a secret at all has finally been revealed to the world. The wall of silence has now been broken and victims are coming forward. We now represent 120 individuals who intend to bring civil claims in civil court against Sean Diddy Combs as well as claims against many other individuals and entities that we will name as defendants as we file these individual cases. And you should know, to the extent the clients feel comfortable, we also intend to make these individuals available to the authorities, specifically to the FBI. And you should also know a few of them have already been spoken to by the FBI. Even before the indictment of Sean Combs, we had received a small volume of calls and it screened a handful of cases. After the indictment of Sean Combs and the announcement that we were pursuing these claims, the floodgates opened. People who wouldn't otherwise, for a variety of reasons, are now stepping forward to make their voices heard and to pursue justice. But no, most of these people are scared. They fear backlash. They are afraid of retaliation from the perpetrators and their associates. They are rightly afraid for their own personal safety. I expect that through this process, many powerful people will be exposed. Many dirty secrets will be revealed. We know what we are potentially up against. And as is always the case in situations like this, when a celebrity is involved, people can be downright mean and nasty. You would be shocked at the length fans will go, no matter the evidence, to the contrary, to defend celebrities they love. I've personally already been threatened multiple times on social media. I expected as much. But victims who step forward to have their voices heard should not be subjected to that kind of conduct. And while some users can't wait, just like Dame Dash, like we covered in the last video, he wasn't doing all of these assaults alone. Can we start getting other names and footage, please? All need to be exposed. Well, the fact that they established a hotline for the alleged victims to call in got Charlemagne to criticize the justice system in the United States. Check out a snippet from The Breakfast Club. I've never heard Wendy accuse Diddy of committing crimes. She just always accused him of being gay. She said free, but freaky gay. Yeah, free. But here's the thing about Diddy's situation, right? Like it needs zero seasoning. He's pretty cooked either way, but it is. You mean to tell me a lawyer found 120 people, exactly 60 men, and 60 women? Oh, it was the, more. The, they they cut it down to that number. And then when you create things, when you say a 1-800-Diddy hotline, how do you expect humans to operate in good faith with something like that? Like, how can Bro. you go through those calls and pick who's credible? Talking about 20 not? years ago, Yo. I was in a club and he did it. Like, it's... I don't even... I don't even... I'm just saying, how do you know that these people are making accusations in good faith? You think people ain't playing? Because you have to so understand... How, how, do you, how do you go through those things and pick who's credible? It's things like that which make... Uh, it feels like it makes it... Uh, no, it does. It makes our judicial system a joke and it ruins it the validity of folks with real accusations. Exactly. The problem is, is, is if you are a victim, a lot of times you can't afford to hire an attorney. So usually an attorney like this will do it for free. We'll do it on the strength of if we win, I get a third. You got That's a why people go to these type of attorneys because they can't they can't afford to, to pay for an attorney. Diddy's going to be spending all his money fighting this criminal case and fighting these civil cases. And fighting them civil cases. This, this is 120 cases right here. That's about 12 to 20 million dollars. Mm -hmm. And in case you missed it, Wendy Williams is also one of the few celebrities who has been on Diddy's neck for decades. In fact, she recently spoke with Daily Mail about Diddy's arrest. She stated, What is really weird is that I have been told by so many people 
Wendy, you called it. You know how I feel about that? It is about time. To see this video on TV of Cassie getting pummeled, it was just horrific. And it is wild because people like Eminem and 50 Cent, who have also been going at Diddy, were all called haters who didn't want to see successful black men. 50 Cent especially was called envious under nearly every post he made about Diddy. But here we are. And we even got to hear some most shocking details from the lawyer taking up over 120 lawsuits as he also revealed. But the names that we're going to name, assuming that our investigators confirm and corroborate what we've been told, are names that will shock you. These are individual cases. There are indeed other perpetrators involved. They will be revealed when that particular individual case is ready to be filed. They already know who they are. And I'm talking here about not just the cowardly but complicit bystanders. That is, those people that we know watched this behavior occur and did nothing. And I'm talking about the people that participated, encouraged it, egged it on. They know who they are. And boy, some users are foaming in the mouth for Jay-Z to be named at this point as this blew up sketch of perp number one. Come on, man. Tired of this shit, man. It's just too much. I don't want to be the bad guy. Come on, man. And users kept going. Regardless of these new allegations against Diddy, it is about to be a nuclear-sized bomb of allegations against all who were involved in this madness. Get your popcorn ready because some famous people are going down. TD Snakes and while Kim Porter's tell-all book that has been shut down to be fake since it wasn't written by her, all this new information is now giving some credence to the quote fake book. In fact, the art of dialogue had the author on their show and check out some snippets of how it went that's pretty much in line with what the lawyers have been saying over the past few days. There's a claim that Kim Porter kept copies of Diddy's alleged sex tapes as leverage. What evidence do you have to support this narrative? The tapes. So you actually have tapes? I'm not going to do fully comment. Let's just say there's tapes that exist, yeah. Well, let's, that are let's ponder around that. There's the investigators in the case that is now filed yes. say that they are in possession of tapes. They can actually confirm that there are tapes. Sure. Okay. And so my question is, there's a claim that Porter kept copies, and this is in your book, Yes, that she kept copies of Diddy's alleged tapes as leverage. Yes, there are tapes that exist. The book alleges that Diddy kept a vault of tapes. Was there any hard evidence that such a vault existed? The sources say there was a vault that existed, yes. And some of the tapes were flown out of the country on a private jet. That's from the sources directly, so I have to believe them. So you she didn't, these are other things that you didn't include in, 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 and why did you keep that correct. out? Correct, because I can't reveal everything at once. If I was to release those tapes, the world would shut down. If I showed one of these tapes, the, telling you right now, the whole music industry, Hollywood, it would just grind down like this. They're all going to start pointing at each other like this, and it's going to be bad. We've already set it up. We have multiple attorneys. We know how to do it. It's not my first rodeo. The whole tape doesn't have to come out. All the tape. I don't have all the tapes. There's other people that have the tapes. I can't control them. We already know they're shopping in Hollywood. We have proof of other people telling us we actually didn't have that one they showed. So there's multiple out there. Remember, this has been going on for 30 years. Although some still believe this guy is a huge fraudster and things have gotten wild to the point that we even got Elon Musk shook by the headlines as he's asking how many people in music and entertainment knew about this. And since he's asking, we got some wild allegations being hurled by Jaguar Wright who some believe is crazy. This is the same person who got them that shook because she's able to say these things without fear, without saying allegedly. I hear the stuff that Jaguar says and she be on like 10 toes down, like not allegedly. And while many believe she's crazy, according to her, these are some of the high profile people involved that we should expect to be exposed. I'm gonna tell you who I, I believe is on the tapes. I believe Barack Obama got a tape. Yeah, he playing hide the hot dog. I know Jennifer Lopez has multiple tapes. Oh yeah. Oof. I know Beyonce got a tape. Oh. I definitely know they probably recycled some old Stevie J and Eve stuff. Mm -hmm. I know Drake got a tape. I know Rihanna got a tape. I know Chris Brown's on one of them no. tapes. I know Trey Songs has been like a supporting actor in many freak off film. 
Um, definitely Usher. I think what would shock people are the politicians um, and the royals that oh, were yeah. on that tape. And I'm still trying to figure out when Harry and Meghan are going to be honest yeah. about their freak off tape. Yeah. Um, I, I don't think anybody really wants to talk about the fact that the royal family had many times at Ditty Party, especially that weird old uncle. And in reaction to this, some believe that at this point, it is easier to name the ones who aren't involved. And some believe there needs to be a tally when she's wrong or right. What over to you guys. Share your thoughts below. Thanks for watching and see you on the next one.